Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Spilia with YourStory.World and today I have a special guest who is Karina Peruski. I hope I said that right. Mm -hmm. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Today we're um, on the top level of the Stocks and Library. We couldn't find a quiet place. So <laughs> we're, we're up here, but it's a nice place. Have you ever been up here? I have. It's, yeah. it's a good place to study. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of gets away from everybody. And you mm -hmm. always got like a bird eye view mm -hmm. of what's going on, right? What is your major here at DSU? My major here at DSU is political science on a pre-law track. Oh, mm -hmm. so pre-law? Mm -hmm. Like lawyer? Mm -hmm. or? I want to become a federal prosecutor someday. Oh, who are you mad at? No one. <laughs> you got some enemies up? <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, how long have you been here at DSU? Um, this is my second year. Your second year? Mm -hmm. And are you from uh, Dickinson? Mm -mm. I'm originally from Laredo, Texas. Laredo, Texas? Mm -hmm. mm. And when did you come up here? I came up here four years ago. So I got here when I was a sophomore in high school. Uh, and you like it up here? I do. I like the cold. Uh, I see, I see. And you said you're going, you want to go into pre-law. Uh, where are you thinking about going after this? Um, I'm probably going to end up going to UND, but uh -huh. of course... I want to end up at either Harvard or UCLA. Or wow, that's cool. One of the top. Sweet, sweet. Oh, well, I think you could do it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so before we before we continue on today, we are talking about the music department, right? Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit about the music department. Well, the music department at DSU is amazing. You're mm -hmm. able to work on computers in our own music lab and create your own compositions, you can create um, songs, and it's all digital, so you're able to hear it, mm -hmm. too. Um, the voice teachers are amazing. The instrumental teachers are awesome. Mm -hmm. And the teachers, the one thing I say to everyone, especially from my own experience, is mm -hmm. no matter what, they never give up on you. Yeah. Even when they probably should. Yeah, yeah. They're still going to try to force you so to. They're, they're to there to help you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And the music department's on. A lot of people don't even know they're away from campus and they've been here for a while. It's on the lower lower level, right? Mm -hmm. You go through the glass doors mm -hmm. and that's all ours. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen you guys have like a. I've, out of curiosity, I've wandered around there. Mm -hmm. And you guys have like maybe like eight or nine rooms with pianos in there mm -hmm. it's it's awesome it's a nice place to just you know i mean play or, or i've studied in there before too just because i like hearing uh one of one of the music majors uh momo mm -hmm. she plays all the time yeah oh she's really good and yeah. I've, I've gone in there and she's like background music to when yeah. i'm studying <laughs> she has pure dedication i've yeah. been there at nine o'clock and she's out there practicing every wow. single day Wow. And if she can't get in, she goes to the student center and plays on that piano. Wow, yeah. And so the music department's also involved in many performances, mm -hmm. all right? Can you give us uh, some examples or things, you know, I mean, give us some insight on the type of performance we can see. Okay, so we um, hold about two or three concerts every year. Mm -hmm. And we perform for random things if someone needs us for, let's say, um, some random school event. If yeah. they ask us, if they ask us, and we have time, we usually will do it. Um, we do go on tours every two years, and we go to different schools, both high school, elementary, mm -hmm. and sing to the kids and talk about some of the things about DSU and why mm -hmm. they should go. And chamber singers usually does a lot more we go around and play at hawks point we've mm -hmm. done private events and so it's just you get around yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh, being involved you guys get to do a little bit of traveling and mm -hmm. meeting all sorts of people and so that's cool that's cool do you guys uh uh does the music department get involved in like competitions or not that, that i know of um the thing about colleges is there are not really competitions mm -hmm. at this point um, because once you've reached college the only people who are still in the music department are the people who are continuing on in yeah. their musical career and those people in high school and middle school had already been singing had yeah, already yeah. been competing we've already proven our ranks we've proven mm -hmm. where we stand 
Ah, I see, I and see. And now it's just a point of trying to improve. Yeah, trying to improve. Sharpen mm-hmm. the knife, as they say, mm-hmm. right? And so you say you are you were involved. Are you still in any of the music classes? I am or? still very involved as much as I can. Mm-hmm. I was a double major last year. Okay. And due to both my majors being so far apart, yeah. I, that's the one thing I don't recommend. Mm-hmm. If your majors are <laughs> totally different sides of the spectrum spectrum. yeah (laughs) don't do it (laughs) because you're then having to change your demeanor you have to change your attitude you have to focus on one homework in one specific way and then turn around and do something totally opposite both those majors are very demanding Mm -hmm, so that too music involves a lot of practice and its own work and i mean the other major yeah requires a lot of studying a lot of reading and a lot of writing and so so that's definitely some good advice for anybody that's thinking of uh, mm-hmm. not so much as double majoring, but two majors that are very far mm-hmm. apart from each other, right? Yeah, um, but I'm still in choir. Um, I still try to do as much as I can mm-hmm. with NAFMI, which is the music's organization. Yeah. It's National Association for Music Educators. So it's open to anyone. I'm not going to be a music teacher yeah, but yeah. I still love participating and yeah. learning as much as I can um, and how, how long have you been singing choir is this uh, like a like a hobby or are you um, growing up in Texas we're just put into something and so I've been competitively singing since I was eight years old Wow so yeah cool cool and you guys uh, the school has a pretty big there's like three types of choirs right or groups um there are two. Oh, two. okay um there's the chamber singers which is uh-huh. open to anyone there is um no that's corral corral is open <laughs> to everyone chamber singers uh-huh. is an auditioned group only it's recently changed because we've um had some new teachers come in mm-hmm. it used to be that you auditioned and you received a scholarship for being in the chamber singers choir mm-hmm. And it was specifically only those kids. Now, it's been opened a little bit Mm -hmm. um, to just kind of enlarge the group. Mm -hmm. But it's still an audition only. Oh, I see, I see. There's band. That's the third. But anybody can come out and try, right? Mm -hmm. And there's even, uh, is there community members that come out too and and join these choirs? Um, That's the DSU community choir. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like separate from the DSU. Yeah, they come in at like... 8 o'clock at night and oh, none oh. of us students usually do that um, oh I see I see but that is one of our concerts that we do is we collaborate yeah. with them yeah because I've seen them perform alongside and so mm-hmm. I oh, but it's still separate uh, I see and so for for people that are that have been listening and maybe interested in the music department uh what are some of the options that I mean uh there's majors mm-hmm. and minors mm-hmm. can you give us some of the examples so, so you when, have m- many different majors. You can have um, composite, which is mm-hmm. you you play an instrument, you sing, you do every single um, class that's basically offered, mm-hmm. um, and you still have to do the teaching. Also, you can have a vocal mm-hmm. com- um, a vocal teaching, which is pretty much the same thing, but solely on vocal techniques so you won't okay. take band you won't take yeah. any instrument or you can turn it around and do instrumental teaching mm-hmm. and so then you will only be like a band teacher or something yeah. and then you just have the general music so that'll be everything except the teaching classes mm-hmm. um, and then minors you can minor in music you can minor in a specific I want to say a specific instrument mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Okay. I I just sing. Um, <laughs> and then you could be like me and nothing whatsoever. And yeah, yeah just but be still be choir. a part of it. Wow, mm-hmm. wow. Well, it's a good way to support our program mm-hmm. still. Uh, if, any, if anybody has more information, uh, they could see uh, one of the professors, right? Yep, you can go down there. You will always find someone usually. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can just talk to them. Cool, cool. Well, as you heard, everybody, if you guys are interested... Remember, the music department is on the lowest level of May Hall mm-hmm. through the glass doors, which is like in the middle, right? Yep. Do not be afraid to go in there. It's really nice. There's a lot of cool things to see, and be sure not to just go and grab an instrument. You could get in trouble for mm. that. <laughs> but they, they keep like, them locked, so yeah, you can't. 
but I, I've walked by there and I've seen the instruments and I'm like, oh, I just want to go hit the drum or something. But um, anyways, uh, Karina, thank you for being here with, with me and with everyone else watching. And I hope everything goes well for you the rest of the semester. So. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And this is your story about growth, everybody.